Eli, do you want to run the camera on this video? Yeah. Lewis, can you help me do some measurements? Yep. Cool beans. Eggs? Can you be eggs? <laughs> All right, brother, here you go. So if you can video Lewis and I doing the measurements and talking about this halter, that'd be great. Okay. Okie dokie. So these are the metal halters that I talk about that you see in some of my videos. So this was originally designed, the original for this was, um, was a fellow that was um, introducing steers to be taken to the show in lead. So they used this to train them to be lead in the show ring. And Swanee, my business partner, went, wow, this, is, this would be a great tool for us as veterinarians. The reason is when we put a halter on an animal when we're doing a procedure like, you know, removing a cancer eye or injecting antibiotics behind the eye for a pink eye or other procedures like stitching up uh, an injury on a face or, or messing with uh, something on the, on the, on the head of, of a, a bull or a cow, we don't want them moving around because they can injure us or they can injure themselves because we're going to be up there with a sharp needle or a scalpel or what have you. So, and we can clean this in between animals, which is great. So this thing's seen a lot of use over the years. And the way it works is we just carefully introduce that over the nose of the animal. And then the, the, the back part of the halter goes back around behind the pole. So behind where the horns would be in the back of the head. And then we clip that under there. And then we've got pretty good, <laughs> thanks Louie. <laughs> we got pretty good control of that animal. And a really important aspect of it is this hook has to be really strong. I'll come to you, Eli. Yeah. And then a good solid chain that's not going to break. And so that I've got confidence that I'm not going to get hurt or that I'm not going to hurt the animal. Now, some folks have been asking about the dimensions of these. It's just a simple ring. What do we got there, Lewis? 230. So 230 centimeters high by 180 wide. Those of you in America, convert that to inches. We've got a ring on this side for the chain. We've got a ring on this side for the very strong hook. And then we've got a ring here for kind of like a pulley system. So we also use these at the clinic. These are a quick release, um, like so little can, clippers. Well, yeah, we can pull that. Yeah, you pull the little. Yep, and it goes boing, and it pops open. Well, yeah. We can clip that onto here. These are also made out of sailing rope material, so they're easy to put through the wash. So you can get those from your sailing supply shop. Nice soft rope, it's not going to hurt anything. We take that if it's on the on the animal, and then we could run that behind the chute somewhere, and then feed that the other end of the rope back through this bottom ring. And then it's like a pulley, we can really get a bit of pull on it. And if we needed to, we could even, like on that big bull, we could even do a second run where you come back through this again. Yeah, and now so we it stays a, stable. Yeah, it's a one to five reduction. So if I move this, if I pull this rope a foot, it's gonna move, it's gonna move uh, the, the, this forward about one, one fourth of one foot, which is about three inches. So it gives you a bit of power so you can pull the head around so you can hold that animal really, really still. And then when you're done, if you needed to, if it's an emergency, you can unclip that, pull that pin, that'll come undone. And we can take that off and we can wash it. So again, that's um, for your measies. As Lewis said, 230 by 180. That's gonna fit around even a big bull or around a cow. And you'll see it in a lot of my cancer eye videos. Um, and you'll see it in this video that's gonna follow up. So Lewis, was that pretty cool? Thanks for your help. Eli, thank you very much. I'll get a picture of you, too. My cameraman. Thanks, buddy. And where did eggs go? She's out there on the skate ramp. There she is. <laughs> She's a good little dog. Right on, team. Here comes a video of us dealing with a um, with some pink eye. Cheers. Right on. So, veterinary tools. This is called Metal Halter. Um, Swanee got onto it after... A guy by the name of Cabassi was using it to uh, for um, introducing show steers to the ring. So pretty simple concept. Um, the other thing we got is a rope that's got these cleats, which are a, a sailing cleat for quick release if you need to. You need to release it. So I'm gonna go that way on. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on this side. So it's ready to go. Sometimes they'll uh, they'll throw around if you wear this halter in your face. It hurts. Really good thing for the one that I've got because it's something I can clean in between animals. And on a job like this, like if you look at his eye, check out this eye. See that pink eye in that eye, and it's all healed up. And yeah, that's kind of like wearing sunnies. He'll be okay. Besides, the girls come to him, rather him to the cat, him to the girls, just like humans. Um, if you come on this side, see that's active pink eye. He's got a melting ulcer there, so we're gonna treat that. So what we don't want him to do, I'm gonna inject some stuff subconjunctively, so behind the eye, and what I don't want him to do is be moving his head around. So it's really important that we keep him moving. So this halter is pretty rad. Pretty sweet, you just find a spot on the chute, or crush as we call it on the shire. And you just call them the chute because it sounds a lot nicer.
feed this back through here. It's got the loop down here in the bottom. So you got a bit of leverage. These guys are pretty powerful. Just don't want to move around as much. Friction is your friend when it comes to these sorts of things. A uh, little bit of trimadexyl steroid. Never use steroids in alpacas, it can make them abort. Never use steroids in an eye ulcer in a horse because it'll make them else who melt. Cows, that's why I'm a cow vet. You can do whatever you want to. It doesn't seem to hurt them. That's why it's important to have him not being able to move because we're going to try to poke this behind his eye. So the easiest way to do that is to go right through the eyelid, back in behind the eye. Yeah, there we go. That's it. And that's the handy dandy holder, so yeah. That's why we use them.